Welcome back. Let's talk about glacial erosional landforms. Glaciers move. They can carve out different landforms. So they're, they have uh, ability to, to shape the earth, shape the surface, shape the land. So we're going to talk about some of those landforms that they create. Um, before I do, let me give you the first part of the super secret code. It is the number seven. The number seven. You got me? The number seven. All right. So um, erosional landforms. These are formed by uh, weathering and erosion. So all of what you see here are, are caused by glaciers carving out something, taking material away. Weathering and erode material, taking material away. What's left are these erosional landforms, such as cirques, tarns, horns, arets, glacial striations, and U-shaped valleys. All of these things are carved by material being taken away. What's left are these things. These are erosional landforms. Here's a diagram that illustrates uh, some of those. And cirques, horns, tarns, arets, U-shaped valleys. The only thing on, not on this image are those striations. So let's take a look. So a cirque all right, is a bowl-shaped erosional landform created, created by glaciers in the mountains. If there's a glacier in a cirque, then it's a cirque glacier. Um, so this is the kind of bowl-shaped, rounded kind of, you know, stadium-like amphitheater. That's carved as a, as a glacier kind of sits in there and, and moves. It kind of carves and, and digs it out. So the, that, that amphitheater, that bowl-shaped thing, that's the cirque. If, if... If, if there's water, a little lake in that cirque, then it's known as a tarn. Now, you don't, in a cirque, you don't have to have water. And no, that water is not from the melted glacier. In this area, there's no glaciers around, so those glaciers are probably long gone. Um, so that's just maybe snow melt, uh, that's rainwater that's collected there, whatever it may be. So that's not necessarily the, the glacier that melted. So the cirque is the, the bowl-shaped rounded amphitheater. If there's a lake at the bottom of a cirque, it's called a tarn. You have horns, are also erosional features. These are formed <clears throat> when cirques develop on all sides of a mountain peak and kind of carves its peak into a horn. So you have a mountain, and you get a, a cirque glacier carving some of this away, some of this part away, some of this part away, some of this part away, and what you're left with is just a sharp peak. So glacier, cirque glacier carved this out, carved this out, carved the other side, carved the other side, and left a very sharp peak called a horn. And in fact, this is the uh, most famous of all horns, the Matterhorn. It's an actual place, not just a ride at Disney. Uh, Arets. Arets, I think it's a French term. Uh, an arete is a sharp kind of crested ridge separating two cirques or glacial valleys. So for instance, um, uh, here's a valley glacier, here's a valley glacier. What separates them is this kind of sharp ridge that's called an arete. Or this valley and this valley, we see this sharp ridge that's called an arete. Or this valley and the valley over here, separated by this sharp ridge, those are all arets. So some sharp ridge of of rock separating valley glaciers or cirque glaciers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, glacial striations. So glaciers move. We're gonna run at average about 10 inches per day. And also, like I had mentioned, it, glaciers, even though they're made of ice, they can carve through rock, stone, or straight through mountains like a hot knife through butter. So as glaciers move over an area, they scratch and they gouge it as it moves over. Sometimes it smooths and polishes. Sometimes it leaves these long, big scratches in it. Those are called glacial striations. So these are cracks. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these scratches running this way. Those are glacial striations. So in this area, millions of years ago, as a glacier kind of creeped in and over this area, it kind of just scraped and gouged out uh, uh, that, that rock that was underneath it. So those are known as glacial striations. And then you have U-shaped valleys. Again, all of these are landforms created as glaciers took material away. So it looks like in these valleys, there were at one point valley glaciers moving through here. And again, kind of just kind of bulldozing through, gouging these things out, removing material. And when it did, it created and deepened uh, the valley into a U-shaped. So these 
U-shaped valleys. Remember a couple of um, uh, units ago, we're talking about streams and what shaped valleys do they make? V, with a sharp point. So uh, how you can tell the story of geology, if you're looking at a, a valley um, and it's V-shaped, oh, that was carved out by a stream. If it's U-shaped, oh, that was carved out by a glacier. Don't be tricked about what's there now. It takes millions of years to carve these things. It takes millions of years to carve these things. So, you know, what you're seeing right now isn't necessarily well, what created it. So just kind of be careful. So you get this U-shape to it. That was carved by a glacier. Again, here, a U-shape to it. That was carved by a, a glacier. Excuse me. All right. So those were all erosional landforms. Those were landforms that were created by material being ripped away, weathered and eroded. And what was left, those landforms that were left, those are all erosional landforms. So we'll pause here. When we come back, we'll look at section three, which are depositional landforms. This is These are landforms that are created because material was deposited to create new landforms. We'll see you back here in just a minute.